October's spooktacular pumpkin walk was a big hit in Mission Creek Regional Park. An estimated 1,000 people walked the paths illuminated by more than 60 carved pumpkins dropped off by residents. Our first electric parks vehicle has been known to stealthily sneak up on people because it's so quiet. Nicknamed Casper by park staff, it began service in our regional parks during the fall. In Calamore Regional Park, a fast-growing plant invader was cleaned out, opening up the area once again to natural light and animals. And we began work in Killiney Beach Community Park to repair damage caused by the 2017 spring flooding. Other upgrades will be made later this year. At the Westside Regional Wastewater Treatment Plant, it was time to replace the biofilter wood chip media in order to improve efficiency and reduce odors. Another huge turnout to the Waste Reduction Office Repair Cafe. Residents bring old, broken items, otherwise destined for the trash, and volunteer fixers give them new life. A driving collaboration workshop was organized by our planning staff, which brought 90 people from all levels of government, First Nations, and non-government agencies from across the Okanagan, together to share common challenges, build relationships, and become more aware of what they're doing to protect Okanagan Lake and its foreshore. Tis the season for food drives. Both the Joe Rich and Wilson's Landing Fire Department members gave back to the community by going door-to-door, -door, collecting food and donations for the Central Okanagan Community Food Bank. Community policing volunteers in West Kelowna, Lake Country, and Peachland were out patrolling parking lots during the season, leaving a reminder for each motorist about locking vehicles and keeping valuables out of sight. Peachland's new community patrol office was celebrated by the mayor, RCMP members, and crime prevention volunteers. Regional Park's winter magic illuminated the historic nut orchard trails in Gillette Nut Farm Regional Park. There was plenty of entertainment and marshmallow roasting, while the Nut Farm Society volunteers sold nuts and gave tours of the house. Over 3,000 people came out for the two-night event. And some people can't wait for the season to end. Free Christmas tree drop-offs are available again at several locations across the central Okanagan. We encourage you to follow our real-time highlights on our website, Facebook, YouTube, or Instagram pages.